I believe Brandon's on, like, it's like Mardu Knights, but we weren't completely sure. Yeah, it looked like he had some angels out of the board and stuff, so I didn't want to call it something it's not, you know? Yeah. I mean, we definitely see Seraph of the Scale in Resplendent Angel in his hand. Yeah. Let's see, we got a Quinn here. We got a Fibble Fib. Fibble Fib. Looks like he's got Aurelia, too. Here's a Resplendent. He's definitely going to go to the skies. Sorry, I'm trying to fix this thing real quick. You're good. It doesn't really stay up very well, so... I'm trying to get it above this so I can yeah, actually, actually see the screen. It looks like Brandon also has Angel of Grace in hand. There we go. And he's got Aurelia in hand. He's, and Seraph, man. He's got... And the land to play both. Oh. It's pretty good. Yeah. Have a... It's a fairy here. Oh, no. I don't know what that is. Uh, golden chamber, century. chamber century. Yep. Right. Part of the combo. Right. Now I can pay three and just ping something down if he needs to. It's three damage to any target, I believe. Cool. Double check that, though. He's probably going to want to do that. Oh, he just drew a history banalia, too. He's probably going to play a really yeah, here. It's, it's pay X, tap it, remove X yeah, counters. It's really a. Good old Boros Angel Queen herself. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go ahead and give the Resplendent Angel plus two, plus O, oh, and uh, Vigilance to end her turn. Yep. And if it were a red creature, it would get plus two, plus O, oh, and get um, Trample. So if it's a red, if it's a red white creature, it gets Vigilance and Trample. And there's an attack for five. Queen down to 13. This could be quick if... Uh, yeah. Because he's got Seraph and... I believe... History. Uh, history, and I believe he has an Angel of Grace and another land in hand, too. I think that is accurate. He has another Aurelia. Okay, no land, but he does have an Aurelia, an Angel of Grace, yeah. and a Seraph, and a History. He's got a loaded hand. Yeah, this is a deck where Quinn's not going to have a lot of time to set up his combo here. Right, because he's going to put the hurt on him fast. So, yeah, you're going to really have to look... Uh, we're going to have to really look into his sideboard after this. Yeah. Uh, and see what will make his deck... Um, better in game two. I'm going to ping down this, this Yeah, thing I would. Yeah. I agree with that one. We don't you, want that one getting out of hand. Right. Because <clears throat> looks like he's... Hero Precinct one? Yeah, why not? He's got a bunch of multicolored creatures, sure. Yeah, I don't know how much I would like Hero in this, but... I just go a lot of removal with all these big angels. Yeah, I would just play... Um... Attack for what, four? Four, yeah. He's got him to nine. He's going to play Seraph here, I believe. Yeah, I was just saying, I'd probably play the Seraph here. Uh, yeah, Tesha combo is pretty spicy. It's a really awkward combo to get together, though. It's a lot of pieces. Like, a lot of pieces. Yeah. He has one of them in the graveyard. It looks like he has some of them in his hand. This is, does he have the... So he has the Diligent ex Excavator, which was the part he was missing last week when he pl played this. Um, so it's whenever he casts his Dork spell, he gets to First. trigger, mill him. So he's going to mill himself here. So he sees a Lazav, another Diligent excavate, Excavator. I can never say Excavator. Um, excavator? Uh, yeah, I can, uh, every time I'm trying to say it like, in a sentence, I go, Excavator, Excavator. And I'm like, it's not right, it's Excavator. <laughs> Absolutely, Fibble Fib, always. Yes, I we love always Fibble love Fib. saying that card. It just slap the keyboard and that's the name. Yep. Yeah, pretty much. Did, did I like that? Slap the keyboard for the name. That's great. Well, I mean, I'm pretty confident because, like, if you were to like slap your hand like this, his letters would come up. It's like F B L T H. Yeah. Or yeah, T H. It's gonna bounce like, the syrup like, back. It's like my pinky would hit the L, and then my like other four fingers would hit right here. So like, it makes sense, but there's that lands. So now he has all. He can double spell if he wanted to play a hero and a history. Put extra pressure on. Right? Yeah, he could do that. What would you do? I mean, honestly, like, or do you just hold up Angel of Grace for an end of turn? I think I'm going History and Hero just to get the... There's an attack for four. Uh, no, nah, I think it, you just go with Seraph, to be honest. He's going History, Hero. I would have went with Seraph. To put any extra pressure on him. Uh, Seraph's more of an extra pressure because it's Right, because it's all in the sky. Yeah, uh, I'm playing, like, white weenie red aggro. Like, I'm calling it Boros aggro because I play a lot of red cards, surprisingly. Play Boros Feather, dude. So much cooler. Yeah, but, like, that requires more skill to play. 
<laughs> it's just a bunch of you play Storm. Yeah. You should easily. I'm not be, saying I'm not saying like I can't play it. I'm just saying right. it requires You're skill that player. I don't, that I don't want to put effort into playing. <laughs> That's what this standard is, though, honestly. For the most part, it's right. very skill-intensive. And that's intensive. what I don't like about it. That's why I'm playing the deck that I can play mindlessly and just go... <laughs> sure, no doubt. The, mo- the yeah. mono-white deck does put up results, but... Mo- if you play the red-white version of it with... Um, what's the enchantment that I play? Uh, heroic Reinforcements? No, oh, no, uh, Experimental Frenzy? Experimental Frenzy, you could just go off, because I'm playing like 90% for right. drops. You just don't want to... you got to be careful with that deck, though, because you don't... We, as we saw earlier, you do not want to really run into Gruul. Yeah, Gruul, that's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, Gruul just kind of hurts that deck. And, I mean, Gruul's fast, it hits harder, and then it gets big. Yeah, if you could be fa- you could be faster than Gruul and make your stuff bigger, if you can, like, land, like, turn 3 Benelish Marshall into turn 4 Heroic, mm-hmm. after, like, turn 1, 1 drop, turn 2, 2 drop, 2, 1 drops, and then, like, Benelish Marshall... <laughs> um, because I didn't have the cards to build burn. Um, I'm talking about in standard. Like, in modern, I don't like playing brain dead decks because you just lose a lot. The modern is a very cancerous format. In modern, I like to be able to like, actually physically outplay my opponent, with, but like in standard, I just want to like just win. <laughs> For sure. Yes, there is burn in standard. He plays it on arena. Yeah, I play it on Arena. I just don't have the cards, like, in person. I'm missing a bunch of cards for some reason. I don't know what happened to them. I had them at one point. They're gone. I don't know. Yeah, I'm missing, like, three Light of the Stage, three Skewer the Critic. I'm missing all my Lightning Strikes somehow. And I'm missing Chain Whirlers. Honestly, I think the play is easy here. Put, put Quinn to one. And maybe you don't even do anything else and just hold up this Angel of Grace for EOT. Yeah. And then just kill Quinn then. Unless Quinn can combo off on you. Which he probably can't from this position, so... He has six mana, and he that's the key number. EOT, so he's going Seraph. He's going to just put the lethal out there either way. Give Quinn two things to deal with. What does he have? He needs so to draw Quinn something. needs to Char and Rona. If he can get those two out, he's winning the game. And that's a Mox Amber. So, looks like he has two well, shards. That, that, yeah, so the Mox Amber will mill him for two, for four here. And if he can put a Rona into the yard and then cast a Lazav, he'll be able to get the Rona back, exile the Chamber Sentry, uh, trigger, trigger the Diligent Excavators. He can go off this turn 100%. Well, I don't want to see that. <laughs> no, nah, I kind of do. I, if he goes off, that's impressive. Like, to do it this turn. All right, so he's got to play Tushar here, and then cast a spell, trigger the Diligent excava- Excavators. I still cannot pronounce the word correctly. What the heck? You recovered well. Trigger, trigger. Um, so we're going to get mill two, mill two. Okay, there's a Teferi. That doesn't help. There's a Militia Bugler. The Mitchell, uh, You can't grab Militia Bugler off Tushar, right? No. Yeah, Tushar's only... Yeah. No, you can he can't cast it here anyways. No, he can get it off of Tushar. So what, for free? ETB trigger. Oh, well, he didn't do it, so... No, 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 no. I'm saying he has to cast the uh, Mox Amber he has in hand. Oh. So he's going to play a Lazav here. He's going to trigger the Tushar. He can get back the Militia Bugler to get the um, Rona. Try to get the Rona. To try to get the Rona, correct. So he's got he's got two tri- he's got he's three triggers here. He's going to have the Excavator triggers, and he's going to have the Tushar triggers. He's gonna looks like he's gonna put the char, uh, Tushar trigger on the stack first. Mill four. That was brutal. Brutal mills. Uh, Lazav ETB surveil one. He never remembers. This. Okay, there we go. He did not remember the surveil any time he played last time. So he's gonna mill the land and scoop. He's him gonna up. scoop him up. Now Brandon's gonna get game one with the powerhouse of angels he had. Um, so Brandon's got two Tiktali Honor Guard. That's probably good here, depending on how Quinn sideboards. Uh, it's not that great, to be honest. No. It's only good against Militia Bugler. Everything else is not an ETB effect, it's a cash trigger. So, Tiktali Honor Guard doesn't really do much. 
Stopping Militia Bugler could be enough, though, for it. I guess. Um, Cry of the Crinarium might be good here, too, because uh, Quinn's playing... Quinn's so, going to sideboard in all his planes. Right, so the only thing Cry actually 100% kills, other than Fibblethip and Exiles, is Tashar. Hmm. Everything else is like a 1-3 or greater. Okay. Mm, I don't really know what he brings in, then. Honestly, does... I, I Knowing what Quinn's playing... You bring in two Elder Spell, but he doesn't know that yet. So, game three, if we get there, I assume that's what's coming in. Yeah. He might just bring in Shalai and then call it a day here. Uh, Brandon might bring in Chance for Glory, too, because it just gives him a chance to go, I win, because here's lethal, and then here's lethal again. That's a good yeah. point. Quinn is definitely going to go the superhero route. Maybe. I don't see what that does for him here, though, to be honest. That's what he did against Jimmy. I was watching him play. But he Jimmy, sideboarded Jimmy's into not on Jimmy's not on the super aggro deck, though. Well, neither is Brandon. Brandon's on a, mi a complete mm. Mardu Angel mid-range brew here. I'd say that part. Brandon's on a pretty quick deck, though. Well, we didn't definitely see it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, a turn three into turn four into turn five lethal is pretty quick. Yeah. yeah. Like, if he can go turn three, like, turn two, play... I don't know, Tide Taker or Hero. Turn three, play Resplendent Angel. Turn four, play Aurelia. Turn five, play Lyra. That's just game over on turn six. Right? Very much so. So, like, that's what this deck has the potential to do. Mm hmm. Quinn is going for the superhero package. Look at all the cards. Yeah, I, he is. I just don't know how right that is. I think In you, this match, probably not that right. Right. I think in this match, you honestly just have to play to your combo and hope you get it in fast enough. Yeah. And it looks like Brandon's going five cards. I can't even think of five I'd bring in. Well, let's look. Six cards. Or is that what he chose on the sideboard? Four cards on the sideboard? Maybe. He's playing some different cards, man. So if Brandon wins, then uh, we'll have uh, only be, one XO. Yeah, it'll be the winner of Jim and Zach Kid. Yeah. And that's going to be our last match of the round, whoever wins that match. Especially if Brandon beats Quinn here. Well, yeah, then Brandon will play whoever wins that one. Jim... And uh, they have to play. Yes, and Jim playing against Zach's going to be tough. Because Zach has all that little removal against Jim's knights. However, if Jim can land some of them angels, correct, then he can. But he can put a lot of pressure on Zach too early. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't like the fact that Quinn went for the uh, all-out hero plan thing. You know what though? <laughs> Ashishalais and Takatlis. Looks like that's. I what call the the Takatl. I can't see. I can't say that name. <laughs> Tokatli. Toe Cotley. Yeah, there we Cotley go. Cotley Honor Guard. We're just going to call it Honor Guard. Yeah. He is taking out... Uh, look like some Moment of Cravings. And some Gideons. Uh, look like a Tide Taker, too. Mm-hmm. It's kind of a weird deck. There's the four cards. All right. Well, good that he's got those Bedevils still main, because we definitely know Quinn's going hard on the Walkers. And... Right. I don't know if Command the Dread Horde would be really good here because Brandon's cards are way more higher cost and it really could kill Quinn. Yeah, I um, I don't think going to the plan of using your sideboard with Quinn's deck today was the right plan in this matchup. No, I don't either. I honestly just, in this matchup, you just had to play to your combo. I mean, he almost had it. He was missing a Rona. Had he drawn Rona in any of those turns, he won. Right. Like, he had the Tashar, he had the Diligent excava Excavator, mm -hmm. he had the Chamber Sentry in the yard already. Like, all he had to do was hit a single Rona, and he won. Yep. Because he had Lazav to do the copy for the other one. Right. Um, so, yeah, I don't really know. Um, I think the uh, Walker plan's a bit too slow in this matchup. Knight liked your idea of Chance for Glory. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pretty sweet card, not gonna lie. I see Mr. Well, he, Dirk here try he, it. He, he said it first. That's why I said it. Oh. Um, I see Mr. Dirk here try that a few times. Uh, fun fact with uh, Chance for Glory cool. is at Nationals, I played against someone, and I Chance for Gloried and then won the game at Nationals in a game three, so that was fun. Yeah. 
Because my opponent goes, what's that card? And then, yeah. <laughs> this card says I win if you can't stop it. Yes. And then, yeah, he just, like, was like, okay, sure. And then he didn't scoop and held up one mana. I'm like, man, if this guy's got the magma spray or something like that, like, I just lose. And he didn't. <laughs> and I didn't. <laughs> Chance for glory with Gideon. Well, yeah, but Gideon was bad. And I was playing a red-white aggro. Deck. Oof, this hand's bad. Also, I'm going to Oh, boy. Out. Going to five. Yeah. If Quinn went Planeswalker package like we expect... He'll be good now, He's but in like... a good position. Quinn's going to give him a shuffle this time. <laughs> and hope that he uh, give him, give him some, something to play, huh? I don't know if he's hoping that, but... Dude, I'd want a game of Magic. I don't want to just roll someone. I mean, like that. I guess like at F and M, yes. But like at a tournament, man, if you mulligan down to three, like I'm happy as can be. Now he's got all the hands. I you gotta keep it. Yes, you got you it do. Scottly. That's yeah. a Lyra. Was it Lyra or Angel of Grace? It looked like a Lyra to me. Well, whatever it was, it's going on the bottom. <laughs> That's it's fine. And there's a the Resplendent. Yeah. Pretty sure it was a Lyra. And what is it the excavator? Dumb. Escalators here. Eels. Escalators? I feel like I'm the only one who understood that, but, you know. Honor Guard plays here pretty well. Stops uh, Fibble Fib. Stops Fibble Fib and Militia Bugler, and that's it. That's If he's still on combo hard, though, I mean, that's two big things to stop. Yeah. Spongebob memes, never old, exactly. Where's Resolve. The Does that even Trigger. go off? No, it triggers. Yeah, it's, yeah, that, that's it, an ETB, so... It's a, no, it's a cast trigger. Okay. If you want to see... No, no, that's fine. Diligent. Never, never played with Lazab, dude. No, Diligent Excavator. When you recast a historic spell. Are you talking about the Surveil? No, I was talking Lazav? about the Lazab's Enter the Battlefield trigger. Uh, That's just a Surveil one. He has to copy something, though, too, right? No. no. You have to pay X to copy a creature. Gotcha. It's only from a graveyard. Never played the card, so... Yeah. He's got two Shars in his hand, so... Doesn't look like he has... Okay, there's the Rona. Rona's ETB trigger doesn't ever trigger, though. What do you mean? His e... Rona's ETB trigger, if you may exile target historic card, doesn't trigger. Oh, okay. I so Takali does play here. Actually, better than I thought it did. I forgot Rona was a uh, was a uh, ETB trigger. Right. I was thinking it was like a cash trigger. He's drawn pretty good now. Yeah. He's gonna be able to put some pressure on him. He's got a Seraph of the Scale that he, he can cast. He's got Dauntless Bodyguard and another Resplendent in hand too. Actually, for a multi five, he didn't do too bad. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm just attacking with Resplendent and then playing Seraph here. Um, probably. Something like that. We got Queen at 17. I mean, he could go Resplendent and Dauntless Bodyguard protecting one of them. I suppose that's the play he wants to do. No, he can't. He doesn't have triple white. Okay. So, yeah, he's going to go Seraph. Put the pressure on him, and Quinn is, uh... Quinn's a little land light here. Land light. Well, play a Mox Amber. That helps. Yep. Mill two here. Got a Teferi... Got a fibble fib. Why, why is he sitting like that? He's bored. I guess. Uh, no. There's not a uh, tokens list in standard right now. Well, there's green white tokens, but only one it's player not. seems to have good luck with that on the big circuit. Yeah. Zachary Klein, I believe, plays it. Never heard of him. Hey, man. I watch a lot of the open series. I don't. If you want to look up Green White Tokens, look, look up Zachary Klein. I can't watch the Open Series anymore now that Michael Hamilton's been doing well. It's your bane, dude. I don't, yeah. I've lost to him twice now. Because I played, I told him, I played against his team in Cincinnati, right? Yes, you did. Yeah. But yeah, the Green White Tokens list that I see does good actually dropped out playing... What is it? Sapperling Migration? Is that what that card's called? Yeah, they actually took that out. I don't blame him. The card's not that great. No, it's not. 
Another Seraph. Well, we got lethal here next turn, unless yep. Quinn can do something, and I don't think his hand can. Well, I mean, if he can get rid of Takatli, which... He cannot. Unless he draws Teferi. He got he a He has a Jace, Jace Wielder of Mysteries? Doesn't that cost five? It costs four. It's tri triple blue. Oh, okay. What does Jace do? Nothing that's going to help him here. Fibblethib doesn't trigger. Well, it mills. That's what he. That's all he cares about. All right. Okay, Jace can draw him a card. I guess he could just go on the plan of mill myself out, please. Yeah, I suppose. This game. He ain't got nothing. Yeah, no, he's he's. Uh, well, he is a blocker. He's a flag blocker. He's, He's not dead. Yeah. He has Tushar to block. And he has another Tushar in hand. So So you're telling me Brandon's just got to draw a removal spell off the top? Yeah. To win the game? Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Let's see it. Removal off the top. And no. that's an honor guard. Well, I'm busting in with all three angels for sure. And then I'm playing another resplendent that he cannot block out of next turn. Correct. He's going to bodyguard to protect what? What do you want to protect? One of your four threes? I don't think you really care. Well, what's sure. what's bad about this play, though, is he couldn't play the other flyer now. Correct. And this is an attack for 11. Block takes seven. Block takes seven, yep. Yeah. Down to three. Not to 32, to three. So what's he going to do, play the other honor guard? Might as well. Yeah, I mean, you make him so he has to have double spell to remove them so he can combo. Because otherwise, uh, otherwise Rona is never going to trigger. You can't win without Rona. There you go. See, so yeah, uh, I don't know what miracle he's looking for, but I'm pretty sure Brandon's got this. And we'll see in a second. Like, I don't see what he's going to... Can he even combo from here? No, nah, he can't combo with the two honor guards in the field. Um, I guess he could. Oh, he's got another Tushar that doesn't he can trigger. He pay for Rona? He can pay to exile a card with Rona? Okay. Exile the, um, Chamber Sentry? Um, and then cast the Chamber Sentry, trigger off of, um, the Excavator... Trigger to Char, and if he can mill himself out fast enough, he can do that, I guess. Mm -hmm. But There's to Char. I don't think he's going to be able to. So trigger, mill two, got a hero, and that. That's not. Yeah, this. Pay one for what? Oh, he's going to float a mana, play another Mox. Yeah, so he can get another trigger off of his excavator? Yeah. What is he possibly looking for with this now? Yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it's just game over now. Yeah, uh, Brandon's going to get this game in two. Quinn has... Yeah, Takali played way better than I thought it was. Yep. There we go. There's a handshake, and Brandon's going to take this down to O. Oh. 